get through to top 10, you would think. Anna Satila with her cue, though. So that's two That's two finals for Anna this week. So yep. she'll be happy with that. She'll be very happy. So Anna Satila confirmed. Another paddler that we saw yesterday, Monica Doria Villarubla, sliding through that gate three. She got a quota yesterday, that's Monica, right. as well. Yeah. So um, she has that safely tucked away. Yeah, I think mm. Monica might have been paddling to get that gold medal, not just a quota yesterday. Yeah, of course. I'm sure they all were. <laughs> Yeah, she definitely is a paddler that has the speed and has the ability to, to win a world championship. So we'll see what she can do today. A little bit behind on the first split, but Luca did put together a really nice run at the top. So we'll see what, what Monica can do. Finishing up, crossing that wave quite nicely and a really nice up 11. So Claudia, Claudia Zwolinska from Poland is the athlete now sitting on the bubble. Her time is a 104.91 is the time that uh, Monica needs to go under. Yeah, making up a little bit of time, but not enough to get into the top three. Top three will be the ones to qualify at this point. So so the top three times are all between 104 and 105. So that's, that's what the number you've got to keep in mind here if you're watching and working it out at home. Very so nice. She's close. She's going to be close. Oh, oh no, she's blown out of it. Yeah. Too much time. Yeah, where'd she lose that time? That's that's the thing, Ross. On a course like this, it's hard to see exactly where people are losing time, but it shows on the clock. The clock does not lie, folks. It's like uh, it's like age. It's like the calendar. Um, unless we say you're 30 years old. Unless we do say that. Which if you, someone said I was 30 years old, I'd take it. <laughs> but uh, Monica Doria Villarubla, unfortunately, I think that's not going to be anywhere near uh, enough. Place. Disappointing, but Claudia...